The T-List View Control provides a fast, scrollable list for your multi-device applications and comes with a number of predefined layouts that you can choose from. New in RAD Studio 10.1 Berlin is the ability to rapidly build a custom layout for a T-List View item using a visual designer. Now, to get started, we're going to drop a list view control onto a form and a prototype bind source component. The prototype bind source component allows us to quickly work with some sample data that we can populate our list with. Now, I'm going to align my list here to the client, and I started out with a basic header footer template. I'm going to bring up the Life Bindings Designer, and I'm able to visually bind my list control into some sample data. So I'm going to select the item text property and I'm going to bind it into bitmap name. So here you see a scrollable list with some sample data at design time. Now if we have a closer look at our item appearance modes for the item, we can choose from a variety of built-in modes such as image list item, image list item bottom detail, write button, etc. Now new in RAD Studio 10.1 Berlin is this new dynamic appearance mode. The dynamic appearance mode works in conjunction with the new list view items designer. So the first thing we need to do for the item property, select dynamic appearance. And then what we can do is we can go back into item appearance, select item, and you will see the option here to add new appearance modes. So this first new object is text one. So I'm going to bind text one into bitmap name, and you can see this is uh, aligned to the center here. And next thing I'm going to, going to do is add another object. I'm going to add an image object. And I could rename this, for example, to my image. And then I'm going to add another object. I'm going to add another text object. And rename this to uh, small text, for example. Text three, small text. And this just makes it a lot easier as you're navigating through the Life Bindings Designer to identify the elements you're looking to bind to. So in this particular case here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind into uh, the text one into bitmap one, uh, bitmap name one, uh, my image into bitmap one, and a small text label property into color name. Now what I can do is I can right click on my list view here and toggle the design mode. This brings up the list view item designer. I'm just going to close the life bindings designer here. And I can now go in and actually adjust the position, the fonts, etc., other settings for my controls. So in this particular case, I'm going to position the image on the left. I'm going to adjust the width of my small text element here to 120 pixels. And the width of my other text element to like 130. And I'm going to position it here. And again, I can move the text elements around. I'll make it a little bit wider. And I can select the text vertical align. So for example, leading, trailing, center. I can also select the text alignment. So for example, leading. I'm going to move this up just a little bit. And I'm going to adjust the settings on the text element itself. Set it to bold and adjust the font size. And move it up just a little bit. Okay, and now the small text item, I'm going to position, grab and position right underneath here. And I'm going to adjust the text align to leading. So it's positioned under my item text. And I'm going to change it to bold and a different text color. For example, steel blue. As I move out of the design mode, you can see that layout pattern that I've just designed for my item is repeated across my entire list. And you can fully customize this as you want. You can go in and add additional image objects. You can add additional text objects. You can add accessory. You can add a, a text button object, a glyph bot button object, etc. And it's really easy to just go back into this design mode. So you can toggle the design mode via right click, and then you can exit the design mode. And this was a quick demo of the new list view item designer in Rat Studio 10.1 Berlin.